Coach, what, what is your, your talk, your push to get players to transfer to come here? You know, the first thing is all about the Big 12. You know, I have an opportunity to play on that stage each and every time. Um, the other thing is the collective and the NIL opportunities they have here. I mean, you have our freshman here has three or four from the joint and chiropractor and I can't remember some of the other places that she had that's, um, that's contacted her that she have NIL deals from Layla, Canes and Star Pizza and those kind of things. So again, you get an opportunity here in the city of Houston just to be able to make yourself a household name and be able to be uh, marketable uh, with all the different places that could be able to just put you out in front of, of their product. Um, that collective we're growing. Um, Alvin Franklin is doing a great job with us right now, just like he's doing with men's basketball, being able to do those things. So now we can have the opportunity to um, offer our kids a little bit more than, you know, our stipend and Austin and those kind of things like that. So we can be able to be on the lines of other Big 12 programs of have an opportunity to uh, pay our kids because y'all know that's what it is right now, pay to play. So um, on top of that, the opportunity to be able to compete against the best. And now you having, you know, say for instance, I got a call from um, Charlene Swenson, who's assistant at the, um, the Aces, and I want to visit practice and those kind of things. So now we're starting to get those kind of people to want to come. Um, Mike Tebow. Um, those kind of people want to come through practice right now. Darius, who's the general manager of Connecticut, want to come through and see what you have right now because we're on that different level and those kids start to see that and have an opportunity to be able to play in front of those kind of people. And those kind of people visit practice. It's, it's just different. It's just different. You know, you know, all the Power Five conferences or Power Four or whatever you want to call it right now uh, have those opportunities too. But I think it's just different in Houston because of, of what we're representing the city itself. Um, one thing about it is, uh, Layla Blair is on mock draft boards right now. You know, so again, seeing somebody who came here, stuck through every single thing and got to her fifth year and ready to go, and now she'll have an opportunity whether or not she get drafted or not, but, or some free agent stuff. But the other thing about it is, the WNBA is expanding, you know, with two or three teams and possible with Philly or Houston coming up on another scale in the next few years. You never know what it could be. And you have to oversee things as well, but Houston is just a great attraction to itself.